Hey, what's up guys? Here's a quick video how to install this bike computer. And this one here I got from Amazon. It's the Psi Bicycle Speedometer and Odometer. It is wireless and I'm going to show you how to mount this onto your bike. So right out of the box, we get a user manual here. Now also you have the computer itself here. Here's the sensor. This is the magnet. You have some zip ties in here. You have the actual mount that you put on the handlebars here. Now I do have uh, three batteries here as well. There's going to be one that's going to be an extra battery. And of course we have some stickers here, which I'm not going to be using. I don't need those, okay? So you can see we get three batteries here. Now we got to put a battery into here and as well as uh, into here as well. Okay, so we have one extra battery. These batteries typically last like one year. This is actually the second one that I got and believe it or not, these are actually quite accurate. That's why I got another one for my other bike as well. So first, let's go ahead and put the battery into the computer itself here. Also, I'm just going to show you how to mount it. I'm not going to show you how to program it. However, I may make another video how to program this. If I do, the link will be below in the description. So let's put the battery into the uh, computer here. You can get like a flathead or like a coin. Just turn that to the left. Pop this out. I'm going to go ahead and put the battery in there. Make sure the plus sign is on top. Okay, it's going to go ahead and pop it in just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten this like that. Next, we're going to get the sensor here. You got to go ahead and turn it over on this way and pop down. Go ahead and remove that right there. We don't need that. And let's get the other battery here. Remember, the plus is on top. And then we're going to go ahead and grab this slide this in there and really quickly before we attach, mount this onto the bike just go ahead and get the little magnet and what you want to do is just go like this and see if it's reading and you can hear that okay reading no problem let's go ahead and mount it now so the first thing is we're going to put on this mount right here so go ahead and grab the mount and make sure this little thing is pointing towards you and what we want to do is slip two zip ties one in here and one here so i already got one in there and let me put the other one in, it's going to go ahead and slide it right into that groove, just like this. And now, let me go to my handlebar. Now what you want to do is find the area where you want it. I want mine on my right side here, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on like this. And just go ahead and don't, don't make it too tight yet. Just make sure that it's on there a little bit first and then we can uh, tighten it when we're sure exactly where we want this, okay? I think it's going to be good. Probably like right about here. Let me keep that loose. Let me go ahead and grab the computer and pop it on now. So here's the computer here and we can just go ahead and slide this on. And I still have it loose because I don't have it tight yet. Snap that in place. And I think I want mine like just about here. So let me go ahead and tighten this up now. Okay, so mine's good here. A little bit of swivel is no problem. And then you may want to go ahead and cut the rest, the extra slack on the uh, zip ties here. All right, that's the parts done. All right, so I just turned my bike around because I want the sensor on this side so you can see my computer here. And we're gonna put the sensor down here on the fork. So the next thing is we're gonna go ahead and attach this sensor on here, okay? Now take note, when you're looking at the sensor, okay, you have this end here and this end. This metal, this magnet has to go this way, okay? I can actually hear it. Okay, so what I want to do is uh, I want to get a zip tie. Just hold it just like this, put the zip tie through. And now what we want to do is, so the next thing we want to do is make sure that this end is going to be pointing there. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put it on just like this. And let me just tighten these a little bit so I can find exactly where I want to put this on my fork. You typically want to go somewhere like around the middle, okay? I'm probably going to go maybe middle a little bit above. Also, when you guys put this on, make sure this is pointing towards the front of the bike, okay? Because you don't want to point it towards the back in case something happens, it can get caught in your spokes, okay? So make sure this is pointing frontwards. So I, I still have this a little bit loose. I can make some adjustments. The next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and put this magnet on. Now, this part here, not, not this part, this part here has to go through here, okay? And it should be no more than like a three millimeter space, okay? So next thing is I'm going to attach this to the spoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this up 
And now I'm going to go ahead and put the spoke in there. You can put it in here and here. It doesn't matter, okay? Just make sure that this is going to be on this side, okay? So let me go ahead and put this in here. Let me go ahead and tighten this up now. Okay, so now I kind of have it like a little bit loose and I kind of want to measure where it's going to hit. You kind of want to go a little bit on the bottom here, but let's just go ahead and tighten this part up first. Tighten this up a little bit more. And let's see, that looks good about there. All right, so the next thing you want to do is kind of like make sure it's nice and closed. And what you want to do is move the tire back and forth and you should be able to hear the clicking. And I can also see on my speedometer that is moving as well, okay? So the position here, it's perfect. So let me go ahead and tie down the zip tie on here. I just tied the zip tie down. Let me go ahead and cut the uh, ends off here. So I'll give you a better look here. And you can see how close I have it. Okay, you can see. And I can hear it, that little beeping sound. Okay, make sure everything is tight. And just to, you can kind of lift your wheel up like that and I can go ahead and see. You can see it registering right there, and I can hear that. <laughs> so from here, everything is tight. Go ahead and do a test drive. You may have to do some adjustments. On my other bike, I set this up once, and I never made adjustments on it. And I think I rode it like, like probably like almost 500 miles. So you can see how, how I have it on this bike here. So anyway, well, hope you guys found this helpful.